Hello, how do you solve this linear equation, which is x plus 3 equals x? Is there any solution? You're going to find out. Now, let's start with this particular method. What if I decide to subtract x from both part of this equation? I'll have x plus 3 minus x equals x minus x. So, s minus x cancel out this cancel this i have three here and this equals s minus x that is zero so we have three here and we have zero here which do not actually tally so that means this particular method is not correct now let's consider this other approach of x plus three equals x I raise this to the power of 2. I raise this to the power of 2. If you have a plus b to the power of 2, this equals a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab. Now, my a is x and my b is 3. So, what we are going to do will be to make use of this identity. Half x squared plus 3 squared plus 2 times x times 3 equals x squared, right? From here, half x squared plus 3 squared, that is 9, plus 2 times x times 3. This is 6x, and this equals x squared. So from here, I can decide to move x squared across this. I will have 9 plus 6x equals x squared minus x squared. x squared minus x squared, that is 0. I have 9 plus 6x equals this is 0. Right? So from here, I can decide to move this 9 over here. Of 6x equals negative 9. Divide this by 6 in order to isolate x. Divide this by 6. 6 cancels 6. Right? So from here, I isolate x. This is negative 9. Divided by 6. So we can reduce this. 3 can easily divide this. We have 3, and 3 divided this, we have 2. So this becomes x equals negative 3 divided by 2. Now this becomes our answer. So what we are going to do will be to check if that particular value of x will satisfy this equation. We have x equals negative 3 over 2, right? That's what we have gotten here. So let's recall the problem, which is x plus 3 equals x. You will substitute this for x. or will have negative 3 divided by 2 plus 3. Is it the same thing as negative 3 divided by 2? That's x. That is x substituting negative 3 over 2. So at this point, I find the common LCM is over 1. The common LCM here is 2. So I will need to divide this 2 by 2, that is 1. 1 times negative 3, we have negative 3. Plus 2 divided by 1, 2, 2 times 3, we have 6. And this equals negative 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have negative 3 plus 6. That will give me 3. This divided by 2 equals negative 3 divided by 2. So we have 3 divided by 2, and this is negative 3 divided by 2. This and this are not the same, so this is not equal to this. 
What does this actually mean? It means that this particular solution here is not correct. No. What do we do? Let's check using graph. I have this. So, in a typical graph, we have the y axis here. This is positive y. This is negative y. This is positive x. And this is negative x. The initial point here is 0. So, according to the equation here, we have x plus 3. So, we can decide to have this as this is negative 3 because we are dealing with the negative axis of x. This is positive 3 because we are dealing with the positive axis of the y axis. Or we are dealing with the positive axis of the y. This also will be positive 3 because we are dealing with the positive x axis. Right? So this side here will be negative 3 because we are dealing with the negative y axis. So now we have the equation which is x plus 3 equals x. Then we can simply have y equals x plus 3. That means y equals this. And also we have y equals x, right? Because we are represented, we are going to represent this using the y axis. So for x plus 3, that means it's going to cut across this and this. The line will cut across this and this for x plus 3. So let me do that. I will cut this across this. Have you seen that? So this is simply y. That is y equals x plus 3. This is the graph. This is the line. Now for y equals x, that will obviously cut across this initial point, which is 0. So let's do that. I draw my graph. Have you seen that? And right now, I have y. I have y equals what? x. This is the graph for that. So we have this and this. Why is it that we don't have a solution? It is because these particular two lines are parallel. That means this line here does not cut across this particular line. That is why. As long as these two lines do not meet, we are not going to have a solution. So this is the reason why we do not have a solution, because we have two parallel lines and they do not cut across each other because the point of intersection is supposed to give us the solution. The point of intersection always give us the solution. So since there is no point of intersection in which this line cuts across this other line here, then we do not have a solution. So that is it. We can say that for this particular equation, of x plus 3 equals x, we can say that no solution. Some people say it is the solution here is infinity. They say the solution is infinity. If you say the solution is infinity, infinity is not a number. So the solution can never be infinity. The solution is not infinity because infinity is not a number that's why a lot of people say that the solution is infinity no the solution is not infinity because infinity is not a number so we can only say that the solution here is not that means no solution so guys this is it i believe you enjoy everything every step and 
Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.